All right, hey guys, um, Goldie here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to downgrade dependencies in Arch Linux. So I have a dependency um, called Electron. I have an application called Vextop, which is basically like my Discord client that I use. And the reason why I use Vextop is because the official Discord client just does not work well on Linux and it's very unstable. So I use Vextop um, instead of the Discord, or the Discord client because it just is way more stable on Linux. It's just way better experience. It supports um, screen sharing with audio as well. And it's just, it's just such an amazing client. Um, anyway, so I'm having some difficulty right now. So when I launch Vextop, it segment faults every time. So when I launch it and give it some time, it's gonna segment fault. There we go. So you see it's closed. Um, actually, segment folder. So if I run it from the terminal, if I do desktop right here, um, you'll see it, you'll see the logs. So it's going to be launching, and you'll see it if I just there we go. It's segment faulted. So you have a segment fault here, core dump, and yeah. So the reason why this is happening is actually because it's using Electron 30. So when I update my system, it also updates Electron, and after each update, like recently, like a couple of days ago my system updated to Electron 30. So you can even see here, if I do um, pacman-q, which lists all the dependencies that are on my system, and if I filter it out with grep and type Electron, um, you can see all the Electron here. So the, this is the base Electron dependency, and it's, as you can see here, it's indicated by 30 here. So this is Electron 30, which is using the Electron 30 dependency here, right? So. My system is using Electron first here. Yeah, I think I might even be able to do Electron and maybe that's just version. Yeah, there we go. So you see it's using Electron 30. So that's what's using, but that's the Electron version that's running on my system right now. So I actually made a Git issue on this. If I just find it real quick, desktop, if I go to the GitHub, and go to issues. I have made the issue. It got closed, but let me just go here. So desktop segment fault a few every few seconds. So I explained my issue and what happens and so on. And it was closed um, because it was a duplicate. And um, someone said that you must downgrade your version to Electron version 2029 because there's some issues in Electron 30 that's causing it to crash. And the main developer said that it's not supported, so he's gonna close the issue. And we just had a little discussion there about this issue being closed and. Um, we were just discussing that maybe it shouldn't be closed because you know people are gonna constantly make an issue and be like, hey, it's crashing. Maybe you should have it like maybe closed but pinned so other people can see that this is um, an issue. So then they don't make a duplicate. But yeah, beyond the point, you know, it's not part of this video. So want to downgrade dependency. So you want to downgrade Electron from Electron 30 to Electron 29. Now to do that, there's actually a very nice package in Arch Linux called Downgrade. It's literally called Downgrade. If you type Downgrade on Arch Linux, you'll see it here. It's in the Aura. So you have to use your Aura helper. And my Aura helper is yay. So it's yay and I want to type yay and I want to type dash S to install. It stands for sync, but it's actually that's how you install dependencies and just type downgrade and then that's going to install this dependency here called downgrade if you run it there it says it must be run as root so let's do sudo and exclamation mark exclamation mark to indicate that i want to run sudo as the last um i, I want to do i want to append sudo in front of the last command you could just do sudo downgrade but i'm just doing some extra stuff here and my password and here we go so this is the downgrade um command here it's a very nice command. So what you want to do is you want to do downgrade, sudo downgrade, and you want to type um, the package you want to downgrade. I want to downgrade Electron, so let me do Electron. And it uses FCF to give you this nice selector menu. And you have a bunch of options here. So these are all the Electron versions that you can downgrade to. Now, let me um, kind of um, guide you through what these different versions here mean. So these are all the different versions here. And you have a section here called, um, I don't know what it's called actually, but you can see these ones say remote. So remote basically means that the package is on a remote server. So when you install the remote versions of the package, what it's basically saying is that it's gonna pull these packages from the, um, the, the main repo. It's gonna pull them from wherever you know, it's stored, right? 
and then you have also another one here called v slash var slash cash this basically means that it's gonna pull it from your cash so if you didn't already know when you do pacman install and when you do pacman uninstall when you uninstall a package um not when you uninstall a package but when you upgrade your system the previous versions of the package doesn't actually get deleted it gets put into cache and this is what we call pacman cache and then, uh, so the reason why it gets put in the cache is because maybe you might want to, you know, reinstall the old version or usually it's for, um, for speed purposes. So say if you're updating your system, right, or not just updating your system, but let's say you're installing a package that depends of other packages, right? Those dependencies, some of them might be already in your cache. So instead of going to a server and downloading it from the internet, right, it will just get it from your cache and then you just already have the package you don't have to compile recompile the package it's already in cache that's the reason why cache pacman cache exists essentially so what we want to do here is we want to select the one that is cache right you can select the one that's remote but like i just said what's the point of going over to a server and getting the package when we already have the package in our cache just pull it right from our cache it'll be a much quicker you know installation so you want to select 29 and you want to say yes i have yes by default press enter and now we have electron 29 installed you can see um it's indicated by the colon 29 here so that means we have election 29 we're going to do the same command that we did before pacman dash q and this will tell us that yes we do indeed have 29 installed so now when we run desktop which i'm just going to quickly run desktop from my application launcher here let's top now it's going to actually load and it's actually going to you know not segment fault so yeah, there you go, guys. That is how you fix the current desktop issue that we have with Electron 30 and also how you downgrade your Arch Linux packages or dependencies. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and hit the like button if you did. And also let me know if you want any other tutorials, anything about Arch Linux and pretty much anything else, really. Even Windows, I could do. So yeah, thanks for watching and we enjoyed it and peace out.